Привет. Привет. Слушай, ты уже находишься в Рио не, не так мало времени. Нравится тебе город? Как тебе Рио Джанейро? А, да, мне не нравится. И что насчет вообще всего этого мажора? Как думаешь, хорош ли он? Нет. You said нет? Нет. Твист не нуждается в представлении. Ему всего 22 года, а он уже чемпион мажора, гранд слэма и десятка других турниров. На мажоре в Бразилии произошел один из самых громких провалов его команды – Фейс Клан. Твист и его компания не выиграли ни одной игры на стадии легенд и покинули турнир, уступив в последней игре косоварскому миксу Bad News Eagles. У меня появилась возможность записать интервью вместе с Твистом, и я, понятное дело, ею воспользовался. Извиняюсь очень сильно за свой английский. You were unlucky at the Rio Major, but there is the time to talk about how do you like Rio, how do you like Brazil, what do you like here? Uh, so far I've really liked everything uh, about uh, Brazil and uh, Rio. Uh, it's really close to the water, the uh, hotel is super nice, ELSO has done a really good job at accommodating the, the players here. And uh, yeah, I think uh, the fans are amazing. You know, you can tell they really cheer for their like home teams, and they're starting to cheer for a good Counter Strike, which is exactly what a, a good crowd needs. And uh, the food here is also amazing. I feel like I haven't had uh, bad food one day. Do you remember name of the favorite food in Brazil? I think uh, pau pau de queijo is like the cheese bread. Yeah. 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 I think so far it's my my favorite food here. Will you move to Rio? Uh, have you thought about where you would like to live uh, when you finish your career? That is a really tough question because I feel like my career is really, I still have a long career ahead of me. Uh, currently I live in, in Germany, but I think if I had like an option to choose from right now, like if my career ended and I could just move wherever I want, I think it would be uh, still to live in Canada. Uh, I think Canada is very, a very beautiful country and uh, I like to live in a country where everyone speaks like English, it's way easier for me. So. <laughs> Uh, yeah, beautiful place and uh, it is home. Uh, we both made a career with the help of CSGO and uh, now we can walk around Rio. Can you mention the turning points on your path? At what point did you realize that you can become a star? At what point did you realize that you can no longer think about anything other than CS? At what point did you realize that you are at your peak? It's probably in 2017 when I uh, realized I could not really think about anything uh, but CS. That's when like I started playing like pretty much non-stop event uh, ECS. Uh, I think season five it was like in Mexico and I was like in the practice room like every night until like four or five a.m. just like playing and even longer. In the beginning I, I think around 2015 is when I realized I could uh, have a chance uh, professionally. I got invited to the, the first like iteration of FPL For me, I feel like I haven't uh, reached my, my peak yet, so that's a harder one for me to answer because I think I'm still developing as a player uh, every year. Do you know the Boomich love story? Any comments? Uh, I know it's a, it's a very unlucky situation for him, but I think uh, you know it was mainly his fault or that I know of or his actions that led to this point. So uh, I just hope he can learn for the future and uh, improve himself so that maybe he gets a shot on a, a tier one team again. What should be in women's CS for you to watch it? I actually already watched the, the women's CS games, uh, all of the impact games. I think it's just interesting when it's, they're usually on after like all of the like men's matches are finished. So it's just like, if I want to still watch CS, I put it on. And uh, you know, sometimes I see like uh, interesting stuff. Like uh, I think I saw, like I was watching like a Mirage game one time. Like Navi, like Javelins was playing, and they like executed A from inside connector behind like a top connector smoke. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. You know, that's like actually they put like a lot of like effort into like creating like things as well. Like it's something I haven't seen any like uh, like men's teams use. So I was like, okay, it's like innovative, and uh, you know, I think. If people actually like CS and like like watching CS, then they will still watch the women's stuff. The first significant amount you earned in CS. What were the emotions? What did the relatives say? What did you spend the money on? <laughs> the first big big victory uh, had to be 
uh, Cologne in uh, 2019. We won one of the prestige events in Liquid and, and won the, uh, secured the Grand Slam as well. Uh, I don't know. I, it's hard to remember what my, my parents said or like any of my relatives. I'm sure they were uh, super excited for me, what I spent the money on. I don't exactly remember. Uh, I really like clothing, so I can imagine I probably spent on some clothing. I think I bought my mom uh, something new that she needed back then. I think maybe like a new new car or something. I'm not really one that spends my, my money on much things. I usually uh, try to save it up in, in some way. And what about cars? Uh, what car? Uh, what car do you use now? I don't. I don't. I don't even have a license. <laughs> I don't have a license. No, no car. Huh? Never thought about cars. Oh, I. I mean, I've thought about cars. I would love to to own like a really nice car, but because I I didn't get my license uh, before I left Canada, it's been uh, very difficult to find time to do such thing in in Germany. But yeah, I've really I've really wanted a nice car for a long time now. Just haven't found the time to, to make it happen. Okay, BMW or Nissan? Uh, <laughs> Nissan. <laughs> <laughs> what motivates you to play CSGO now? What is your goal? I win some tournaments, accumulate some money, buy a property. I think my main motivation for Counter-Strike still is to, to win tournaments as always, win trophies. Uh, I think there's always a new goal that you can have in mind as a professional player. And for me, like I want to Every time there's like a staple event in that country where we're going to be like returning to, I really want to, to win one of those tournaments there because like I want to win a tournament in every, every country that you know, CS is known in. And, uh, and yeah, it's still like motivating, uh, motivating factors. Like. Is the North America scene slowly dying? What needs to be done to make CS more popular in North America? I think there's definitely a couple things that uh, could be done in North America to help uh, grow the scene. Uh, maybe we play should consider starting a, a North American league to give motivation to the organizations that are already there to have an academy team. You could probably bet that there is some like North American like talented players or like really good young players, but they just like are lost like in the in the pug system or whatever. And maybe if an organization uh, like was scouting for an academy team, something you know could happen. My other idea was like, you know, maybe uh, it's time to separate the, the European and the North American division again to help uh, rebuild growth in the region. So like they continue to play each other instead of like going to Europe and kind of like, you know, Liquid can hold their own like every time against uh, EU teams, but you know, teams like Complexity and stuff, it's kind of rough for them. I will show you the reklаму project Покажу <laughs> твисту мой сайт, посмотрим, что он скажет. Um, what do you think about the site? Ah, many lights. <laughs> <laughs> you can use uh, and uh, can you explain what do you see? Uh, I see a very well organized site that uh, shows you how many people are playing each game mode. Yeah. And there is many, many, many game modes here to choose from and it seems very easy to access it. Like you just click on it and it, uh, it shows you each server IP and you can just insta connect here. Yeah, uh, he is uh, first time on the site because uh, he used our site, our servers like in community manager uh, in CS. Reklама закончена, надеюсь она сработала. After this uh, part, will you use site or again? I uh, might, yeah, actually, oh, uh, nice. I probably will. Like, can, I didn't know can, it was like that before. A subscription, do you know yeah. this? I did not know that. We, we sent you a subscription premium three years ago. Really, three yeah. years ago? Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> After that, I will. I think I will use it. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> what happened to face? What are the reasons for your defeat? That is hard to answer because maybe us ourselves don't really uh, know the answer yet. Uh, considering we worked really hard coming into this event, we had a nine-day boot camp, and we didn't really have an off day. So you know, five scrims every day, plus like additional hours playing individually. So yeah, we had a lot of preparation uh, going to this event and to not win one match is pretty tough for us. I think maybe we got a bit unlucky with our seedings, uh, played very difficult teams early on, uh, teams that were already here uh, before we got here. So maybe they were warmed up or like not as rusty as we were, even though. What do you think? Maybe uh, here are any energy or uh, any atmosphere vibe favorites 
are losing now? Why only underdogs win? Yeah, I think teams like us have a lot more pressure uh, on them to perform because we are just naturally expected to perform, you know? Like us, Navi, Vitality, like people always like look at us like safe playoff teams. And, uh, you know, for us it's not always easy because I think we understand there is a certain level of demand uh, for us to be good at this game. And yeah, whereas like, you know, when teams like Bad News Eagles plays us, uh, they have nothing to lose. I think that's what happens, like teams, like, for instance, when Spirit plays like Liquid, I actually think Spirit thinks that they are the underdog in that match and they have no pressure. And they know that the arena is on Liquid's side so they can play like the villain. And uh, it takes away any, any amount of pressure really to perform and maybe it helps uh, the underdog teams progress farther. Which player is most deserving of winning the major? Not from your team and not from those who were already major champions. Okay. Uh, it's tough because the players that you'd think would deserve a major are kind of knocked out of the event already or never even qualified to begin with. Obviously, I think Nico is a player who at some point should be destined to, to win a major, but it seems to never really go his way. Uh, you could say maybe some of the liquid players, like Naf and Alij, uh, you know, at one point, you know, would deserve a major, uh, probably on many people's lists, to win one in their career. Uh, the Vitality players, I mean, it would be very shocking, you know, if you see Zaiwu uh, keep such a high level and not win a major at some point in his career. What was the best city you have been to? Uh, the best city I've been to for an event? Uh, not from event. Not from event, just in general? Yeah. Okay, I don't know, probably Vancouver, for me, uh, Vancouver, like it's very close to my home, obviously, but uh, I didn't really get to see it until the first time in 2020, and uh, for me, it's one of the most uh, beautiful cities in the world. Tell me all the words that you know in Portuguese. Abogado, vamos, Brazil. Wow, insane, bro. Oh, uh, really, really good. Uh, I, should, I should focus on English more. <laughs> Do you like the major format or uh, you would uh, better change something? I think Valve should rework this uh, book holes uh, system that is used because, uh, you know, if one really good team, like say C9 lost uh, their opening game of the Challenger stage, that's ruined the entire seating for them for the entire stage. I mean, they were pretty much, like no matter what, they could not get the best seed. And that's already tough because that means like us getting a really good seed makes us play a really good team in our, in our opening match because they messed up only one B1. And uh, I think that is the biggest flaw with this system, you know, like. Дружище, спасибо тебе большое за интервью. Спасибо, что согласился. Надеюсь, тебе понравилось. Спасибо, Белокрыто. Вау, супер. Я рад.